Equologic Design Example, Traffic Lights. The following is an example of a sequential logic design. Problem, de problem Description Imagine we wanted to design a traffic light system with a pedestrian crossing function. Pedestrians could push a button to request that the traffic be signaled to stop to provide them with a safe crossing. Such a system would have three lights for the vehicles on the road, red, yellow, and green. Let's call these signals R, Y, and G. For the pedestrians we would have a light to signal that the traffic has been stopped and it is safe to cross. Let's call this signal M, M for man the signal is usually a green walking man. We'll also need an input button for pedestrians to push when they want to cross the road. Let's call this B. The pedestrian pushes the button and if the traffic light system is signaling G then the signaling sequence is as follows. Signal Y. This prepares the traffic for a stop. Signal R. This stops the traffic. Signal M and R. This informs the pedestrian that it is safe to cross. Signal R. This keeps the traffic at a standstill and lets pedestrians finish their crossing. Signal G. This permits the traffic to start moving again. Button presses for the first three steps will be ignored a crossing has already been requested. A button pushed during the last two steps will be remembered and trigger a new sequence when the current one is finished. State Diagram Each step in the sequence will map to one state. We'll number them using a binary code. 000, signal G. 001, signal Y. 011, signal R. 010, signal M and R. 110, signal R. From this we can create the state diagram below. The input used in the diagram is B. The outputs are not shown as this is a more model and showing these outputs in the table given below suffices. Stable. Using the information from the state diagram above and the outputs generated in each state, we can build a state table. With three state bits and one input, we have 16, 23 plus 1 equals 16, different possibilities. Many of these should never occur so we can either ignore them or force them into a fail-safe configuration. In this case we'll make the unused states, 100, 101, and 110, transition to state 001, yellow light, regardless of input B. Logic Design From the state table we can create Carnug maps and from these generate the logic equations for the outputs and the next state. In the maps, the column S0 is the least significant state bit, and B is B. In the rows, S2 is the most significant state bit. From the Carnug map for the most significant next state bit, which is shown below, we get an equation of not, S0, and S1 and not, S2. From the map for the middle next state bit, which is shown below, we get an equation of, S1 and not, S2, or, or, S0 and not, S2. From the Carnug map for the least significant next state bit, which is shown below, we get an equation of, not, S1, and S2, or, S0 and S2, or, S0 and not, S1, or, B and not, S1, and not, S2. From the Carnug map for the M signal output, shown below, we get an equation of not, S0, and S1 and not, S2. From the Carnug map for the R signal output, shown below, we get an equation of, not, S0, and S1, or, S1 and not, S2. From the Carnug map for the Y signal output, shown below, we get an equation of, not, S1, and S2, or, S0 and S2, or, S0 and not, S1. From the Carnug map for the G signal output, shown below, we get an equation of not, S0, and not, S1, and not, S2. Implementation full Verilog code for the implementation next section available.